Sorry. Yeah. Not, not at this time, no. Because you showed up to a, a public courthouse intoxicated. If that's public intoxication. Have you had anything to drink today? Yes I had or no? a glass of wine this morning. Yes. This morning? Yes. So, go ahead and come with me. I don't understand. But I haven't done anything. I don't, I don't, I don't understand. You're intoxicated at this point, ma'am. You, you're drunk. Not, not at this time, no. Because you showed up to a, a public courthouse intoxicated. Okay, that's public intoxication. That is a uh, charge in, in your Oklahoma statutes. Okay, so uh, have you had anything to drink today? Stop talking and go with this gentleman. Have you had stuff to drink today? Yes. I'm sorry, what? Have you had anything to drink today? Yes I had or no? a glass of wine this morning. Yes. This morning? Yes. Mike. Mike. An hour ago this morning? No. This morning? Kimberly asked to see your attorney and stop talking. I'm sorry, what? You have the right to stop talking. Mike, my wrong gentleman. She has the right to refuse to answer questions, okay? Yeah. So, go ahead and come with me. So we're going to have uh, a breath of water? No. no. I, I, no. I'm going to take it off. Okay. If you have the odor, black eyes. Slurred speech, swaying. So, you, well, so. I can go home with my husband. He's going to take me out. No, you're, you're, you're going to come with me now. You're going to be arrested for public intoxication. I don't understand. You're in public. You're intoxicated. You're going to go to jail. Is what he's telling I. But I haven't done anything. I don't. I don't. I don't understand. You're intoxicated I'm sorry. at this point, ma'am. You, you're drunk. You have you have slurred speech. Okay. You're very unsteady on your feet. Okay. I can smell the odor of alcohol on your breath as you're talking to me. I can smell it. Mm -hmm. Okay, we noticed it at the front door when you came in. Well, my husband's, I can, t I can go home. Please, just let me go home. That's, that, that's not how it works, ma'am. Okay, okay. Stop. okay. Stop. So, so, come on. You are come being on. recorded again. Come on. I, I don't understand. I don't understand. I'm so, I'm so sorry. Do you have anything else on your person that you'd like your husband to take, like a cell phone, keys, or anything? I don't understand. I, okay. I'm, I'm sorry. Could, could you just tell me what's going on? Okay. You're being under arrest for public intoxication. Okay. We, we noticed we saw, saw that you were unsteady on your feet downstairs. Okay. We watched you come up the stairs as you were coming to court. Okay. We're going to get in the elevator. Okay. You were very unsteady coming up the stairs. Okay, we also have the DOC gentleman that was in the room with you, that he could smell the odor of alcohol coming from your breath. As I was talking to you downstairs here, I could also smell the odor of alcohol upon your breath. Okay, oh. and even while you're talking, your speech is very slurred. Okay, we we'll go back around to the front desk. Okay. I was just wondering if my husband yes. could just get home. No, you cannot. Okay. Put your phone in your purse. Put it all in there. I'm going to have a seat on those bare chairs right there. Okay, there's nothing else on your person, no earrings or anything. I'm going to get your paper from you. And what's your first name? Miss Coates, go ahead and stand up for me. Okay, palms together, thumbs up.
Good. Good. So we're going to go ahead and go through the store right here. Okay, in between those two doors right there on your left, just stand right there for me. Seat on the bench to your right. Good. Yeah. Slide down to the end over here for me. Your hands. Are you rest up? Right. You see right wrist? Good. Down, down. There you go. Oh, Kimberly, I can't help but feel sorry for it. Any addiction is incredibly hard to live with, and I would never judge anybody for having one. And it seems Kimberly believed after her original run-in with the police, honesty is the best policy. As here in the first video I put together a few months ago, this wasn't the case. Where Kimberly turned up to school as a teacher herself on duty that day drunk and actually appeared to other staff to only become more intoxicated as the school day went on. They called the police for assistance in speaking with Kimberly with high suspicions she had also consumed alcohol on the premises. Kimberly chose the it wasn't me tactic which didn't pan out so well. After lying and lying to police and only becoming more intoxicated as her emotions came out, she was caught out anyway. When a cup found on her school desk had been wiped out, yet a clear odour of wine was still apparent. As you can imagine, this didn't go down so well, and along with her breathalyzer result showing a reading of 0.24, and the legal limit is a 0 0.08, which meant that Kimberly was basically two times over the legal limit. She was subsequently arrested on site and taken to Payne County Jail with the charge of public intoxication. She was later released, but of course this meant she would have to appear in court. I thought I must add this next bit of information, as when I saw this video I did read the situation a little wrong. That's what happens when things are not explained, so I like to go into slight more detail so anyone watching has the bigger picture rather than just body cam footage. So at first I felt bad for Kimberly. It seemed she thought that she had learned from her original experience with the police that lying doesn't get you anywhere and not hearing or understanding from a gentleman off camera telling her she has the right to remain silent. Kimberly just honestly answers with, with a yes, I had a glass of wine this morning. Innocently enough, I thought. It also seems from the video that she is totally unaware that consuming a glass of wine would get you arrested for public intoxication. She seems genuinely sorry and quite confused. I didn't think manipulation myself at first and I seriously felt bad for her. Until I read more about what actually happened that day and the probation rules that she had to follow. As at first, I thought, what? So even if you get a lift and you're not working, you cannot just have one drink before going to court? I mean, I don't know, maybe you can't, but I doubt it, as I can imagine it's such a nerve-wracking experience that many people would have a beer or something beforehand. But as you probably guessed, not all is as it seems. I thought from the video that she had just arrived at court. A cop believed she was intoxicated and therefore was arrested instead of taking part in court. But Kimberly had already seen the judge, remember under oath, where the judge had actually straight up asked Kimberly, Are you under the influence right now? You are unsteady on your feet. To which she replied, I'm, I'm nervous, I'm sorry. Hmm, good avoidance to admitting the truth there, Coates. Remember under oath. But again, if she had not been charged at this point, was she really not allowed to consume one drink beforehand? I mean, I don't know. 
as I've got a bit confused when researching. This is because when Kimberly first saw the judge this day regarding her public intoxication from the 17th of August 2023, she had already pleaded guilty to this charge and she was initially given a one-year probationary service, a $10 fine, court costs, a substance abuse evaluation, 16 hours community service, random drug testing, no alcohol on probation, and outpatient aftercare at Valley Hope, where she had completed a 30-day programme. So I was reading that last part as she was currently on probation, therefore fully aware she should not be drinking alcohol at all. But no, it seems she really did not know. So, was this re-arrest a bit over the top? Chained by her wrist like the other convicts? Her husband probably wandering around looking for her? What do you think? Let me know in the comments. After the judge had asked Kimberly if she was under the influence, she proceeded to tell Payne County Drug Court representative Heath Hicks to immediately report to her if he smelled alcohol on Kimberly's breath. Moments later, Heath Hicks returned to the judge and said to her, she's drunker than a skunk. Who even made that up, by the way? I've never seen a skunk down in a pint or hung over from a heavy night out. <laughs> The judge had then told the defence attorney, Luke Anthony, to bring Kimberly back into the courtroom and withdraw her guilty plea, as Kimberly had just pleaded guilty earlier that day to the charges I read to you. I mean, no wonder I got confused.com. So, to conclude, Kimberly, after being originally arrested for public intoxication, then got re-arrested for public intoxication for appearing drunk in court. Therefore, her guilty plea and charges have been revoked and put on hold until she will reappear in court again on 11th of December 2023, around 2pm. And Kimberly, please, this time, just stick to water. Or a brew. Teff or a brew. If you want to see the full Drunk Teacher video, head to Random Jan on YouTube where you can watch the full extended video for yourself and see why Kimberly Coates ended up at court in the first place. And if you like true crime, murder documentaries in general, I have plenty more to come. Thanks for watching. Random Jan.